Hi everyone, Teresa Santa with I Brand Your Business. In this video, we will focus on email marketing and why it's so important to the success of your business. In the words of Steve Jobs, even a great brand needs investment in caring if it's going to retain its relevance and vitality. Let's face it, the way we do marketing has changed quite significantly. Online resources have allowed businesses to reach specific audiences, more people, and most importantly, people who want to hear from your business. So how do you do that? Social media and having a web presence is one avenue, but internet marketers have proven time and time again that email marketing is the number one effective way to communicate and sell their services and their products. Take a look at these stats. These numbers mean potential profits for your business. With numbers like these, you can be sure that email marketing is the right avenue for your business. People who are interested in subscribing to your email list allow you permission to market to them via email, making it simple for your business to target the right audience. We all want to retain relevance and vitality in our marketing efforts. In this video, we are going to explain how simple and easy it is for everyone to use email marketing when someone is familiar with the right resources. First, you'll need an email marketing service provider, also known as an ESP. This is a company that offers services in email marketing or bulk email services. If you aren't familiar with email marketing yet, let's cover a few of the basics. I'm going to demonstrate some of these terms using our top picks, MailChimp, GetResponse, and AWeber. But service providers may use different terminology and may vary from one service to another. Each of these services has a variety of extremely informative, step-by-step, -step, intuitive tutorials on getting started and beyond. So let's talk about the subscribers process. As we discuss each step, we'll cover what it all means in the back end for you, the business. Here's a diagram to see what your subscribers will follow to be subscribed in your email list. The first step in the process is to acquire email leads to build your email list. You do this using opt-in forms. Have you ever seen and used those text fields on a website asking for your name and email? You're inserting your information into an opt-in form. They are sometimes referred to as a list builder. Opt-ins are often embedded on websites, blogs, sales pages, landing pages, and lead pages throughout the internet. They look like this. You can have several opt-in forms driving leads to one email list, so there are multiple avenues driving leads to grow a list. Some service providers have really easy processes to embed an opt-in, and others need some computer-savvy skills. Also, opt-in forms can be easily embedded onto some social media platforms like Facebook. MailChimp has a really simple process to do this. Once a person enters their email information, the behind-the-scenes magic begins. The service provider's job is to capture the email, send an opt-in, or confirmation email and places the subscriber's information in the designated email list within your account. Your magic only begins if you have properly set up the behind the scenes magic tricks. Once the subscriber info is in your account's database, you'll then be notified you have a new subscriber. And if you have an email campaign set up with autoresponders, your email campaign will begin. Autoresponders are emails that are set up in a series and scheduled and sent accordingly. For example, when an internet user subscribes to your email list, they might receive an email that was automatically sent to the subscriber. The email might be a thank you message, a free giveaway, a video, a link, or can contain instructions. These emails can be set up to go out to subscribers after any number of specified days from the subscription day. Some services may have a limit and some packages may not include this feature. Setting up autoresponders is the reason why you should organize your subscriptions into different lists. Each of these three services, MailChimp, GetResponse, and Aweber allow for this option. A business with different products and services may need different sets of autoresponders or campaigns. So for example, your business might sell lawnmowers and synthetic grass. Of course, someone who has fake grass, they really don't need the newest lawnmower. In that scenario, the best solution is to create two different email lists that are categorized based on interests and needs. This brings us to the next step in the process, sending your email. 
We mentioned autoresponders, but you can always manually email subscribers, schedule an email, and send your email to multiple lists when you're offering a promotion. These are sometimes referred to as newsletters. GetResponse has the option to send it according to the recipient's local time, which is a really nice feature. A little bit of marketing advice. Going back to step one, where your opt-in form may be on a lead page, why would anyone give you their email address or even want to open your emails? This is where your business has to offer its target audience something of value. The value needs to be something compelling like a free giveaway or a discount. For those of you with a new product launch, offer a huge discount to the first 100 buyers to create a sense of urgency. The third step in the process is all about having your emails opened. It is important to have attention grabbing subject lines without excessive sales language, exclamation marks, and unusual characters. Have quality content for specific lists and test the best time to send out emails, which we'll cover reports and stats in a moment. Most importantly, use an email marketing service provider that follows the CAN Spam Act, which regulates commercial email marketing. It is illegal and unethical to solicit commercial content via email without the person's permission, and one can get into serious trouble if caught violating applicable laws. In addition, if your spam scores increase, your email runs the risk of being blacklisted. Unfortunately, some people don't know the difference between unsubscribe and spam, so some emails might be reported as spam due to the recipient's lack of knowing the difference. It's important to try and educate our subscribers about the subject. The fourth step is email clicks, getting the recipient to perform. When you want the recipient to perform, it is important your subscribers don't forget about you. Regular emails at regular intervals with relevant and captivating content are crucial in this step. Every email counts. Keep all your emails with your branded image to establish brand recognition. Several service providers come with templates for creating emails, and it's easy to customize them to fit your brand with colors, fonts, and image. Always test your buttons and links before scheduling and sending out emails. Don't forget to check your grammar and spelling. There's nothing more embarrassing and unprofessional than a customer asking for clarification of your promotional email because the grammar or spelling can't be understood. In our last step in the process is you, the goal. All your campaigns should be created with a goal in mind. Whether you're trying to get more customers online or to a storefront, promote an item or sales event, or announce a new location or product, every list and campaign should be created with a specific goal. So how do you know if you have met your goal? Service providers like GetResponse have stats for users to view and run reports. We use GetResponse and it actually has a really great setup for viewing stats on each individual email sent out. You'll be able to see how many subscribers have opened the email, how many emails bounce back, and you can even email the list of subscribers that have opened the email and ask if they have any questions. This is a nice feature within service providers like GetResponse. You can perform more effectively by tweaking your campaigns by using and studying the stats and reports. Now that you're familiar with email marketing, it's important to choose a service provider that best fits your business goals. Every email marketing service out there has different packages and price points. We highly encourage you to visit their websites to learn more. Here's a quick summary review of the services we mentioned earlier in this video. For businesses that are just starting with email marketing, MailChimp is a great service. The service is free but has limited use. There is a service fee if the user wants to use more advanced features like autoresponders. MailChimp is easy to use and very user friendly. The opt-in forms can be easily placed on Facebook pages as an app without needing any knowledge of coding. Check out MailChimp.com for more details. Here is a MailChimp opt-in form on Facebook for you to see. For a bit more advanced system, GetResponse is a great service. This service is very user friendly. The service charge is based on the number of subscribers and they charge by range. You can view what the email will look like in the recipient's inbox, both on desktop and mobile. You'll have access to plenty of royalty free images to help create professional emails. GetResponse also has really nice opt-in templates 
to build opt-in pages without having to know any HTML code. Another provider, which in my opinion is comparable to GetResponse, is Aweber. This is a great service for more tech-savvy users. It is a lot easier to manipulate opt-in forms, sales pages, and more. The nice feature is that the opt-in boxes where subscribers enter their information are responsive, so they are mobile friendly. Some service providers as of the production of this video are still not mobile friendly, and that's a big deal, so do your homework. Pricing is comparable to GetResponse. It has all the features you would want in an email marketing service, and it's really reliable. There is definitely a learning curve to using a Weber, but it's not impossible with their tutorials. The possibilities of email marketing can be huge to any business of any size. All you need is the right tools, a little bit of time, some innovation, and your business will be on its way to success. Thank you so much for watching our video and please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you again, see you in our next video and have a great day.